We'll talk some Gronk in a minute, but first, Tony Carr nailing this dramatic game winner for Penn State as they beat their rival Buckeyes. Man, the Buckeyes were on a roll. They've been taking it to everyone in the Big Ten. Now, they're a national championship contender. Yeah, in basketball. We play a little basketball in Ohio, Nick. Yeah. Oh, well, you know that because the Cavs. Yeah. But well, Coach Carter over here didn't he like left. their defense. He's a right-handed shooter. Oh, my God. He'll put the ball right back in your face. You can block oh it. You can defend God. it. Hey, what do you think of De'Aaron Fox last night? Oh, fact error by me earlier. I said that's his first career game winner. He had one, thank you, Twitter, about two months ago. So second career game winner from Houston's own swipe of the Fox. Good to see it. Very, very athletic. A little disappointing this rookie year coming from Kentucky. <laughs> Having a tough time shooting, Jenna. Not only is he got a tough time shooting. Just let me have this player. They're a basketball player who is not great at shooting the ball. <laughs> and finally, the two most impressive oh. points of Russell's 46 on the night. Gosh, Thunder have won six in a row. Go get it, Russy. This is a good, a good day for Russ, 46, 6, and 6. Wore one of the flyest shirts I've ever seen. Made Time the All-Star team. In or out. I'm surprised if you wore that on the show. No, I don't have the pectoral definition like Russ does. No one's ever called it that, I don't think. Let's pectoral start with definition. LeBron's All-Star team. In a surprise movie drafted Kyrie Irving, LeBron said, quote, to be able to team back up with Kyrie, it's always special. Nick, you in or out on LeBron's decision to pick Kyrie in the All-Star draft? I'm out. Because now I'm worried Kyrie is going to have some surgery before oh. so he doesn't have to play with LeBron. Miss the rest of the year. Oh, my That's God. not fair, LeBron. Oh you could God. submarine somebody, the Celtics. Seems like somebody's feelings what? are hurt. No, nobody's I'm, feelings I'm, are I'm hurt. I'm totally in on it. You know why? Because LeBron's a smart basketball player. He realizes Kyrie's a great basketball player. Yep. All right? So, yeah. Great basketball player drafting another. I'm totally in on it. And LeBron is above this. Like, if, if you are a king and someone does something acts like a pawn, still draft him to let people know I'm still a king. I just hope Kyrie's knee's okay, guys. Well said. Really uh, moving on, but sticking with the All-Star draft, it was the first year of captain speaking, but we didn't get to see it unfold. LeBron tweeted that it should have been televised, and Steph retweeted him. See, see, you went out on the draft being televised next season. I'm in on it being televised. This is the NBA right now is in an, an uptick, you know, as far as popularity. I even enjoyed last night seeing Steph and LeBron on camera yeah. at the same time. Like, this is basketball. This is not football. They're not gladiators and everything. Like, I believe that there should be some exchanges between Cleveland and LeBron and Golden State. It's good for the league. It's good for the brand. I would have loved to have seen it. Yes, I'm in, in, in. I'm in. I think everyone's going to be in on this, but I have a source because the whole reason that they said not to televise it was they didn't want people to know who the last picks of the draft was. I have a source that says it was Chris Tapps, Porzingis, and Al Horford. So now, if people just know that, next year they can televise this thing. There is no shame in being last pick for an All-Star game. Nick solved what, the whole yeah? thing. No, you solved it. Exactly right. That was it. It's up two sentences. Yeah, there's no shame in that, Chris Tapps. Still the best Latvian basketball player ever. Yeah, I mean, you got... You got 24 black, got 23 black guys on the court. Laugh, white guy laughed one draft. <laughs> no, Kevin Love. Don't forget about K Love. Don't forget about K Love. <laughs> All right, sticking with Steph. Two for three, four. It's been lights out. Y'all, okay, y'all. Right we'll get the team, and y'all, y'all, y'all get to bring the balls. <laughs> uh, he's shooting 47 percent from deep this month, but he says he won't be participating in the All Star. Nick, are you in or out on Steph Curry's decision to skip the three point contest? I am in on Steph doing exactly what he wants on All-Star Weekend. I think it's crazy when we criticize guys for not doing the dunk contest or the three-point contest. Listen, this, these are long seasons. And the, they're, for Steph, he's he's already known as the greatest shooter of all time. It's not like he has anything to prove. Yeah. If he wanted to be in it, I'd be in on that. He doesn't want to be in it, I'm in on that. I support you, Steph. Uh, I'm totally in on it for one big reason. Uh, and that is Steph's had some problems with his ankle. The three-point shooting contest, you still got to move around. You got several rounds that you would have to do it. Like, why take the chance? God bless you. Thank you very he's much. still the best shooter, even if he's in it or not. But he's also agreed he's going to be back in the three-point shooting contest next year in his hometown of Charlotte. So I'm in with Steph. Taking this year off, come back and give the hometown fans a treat. That's in good. and in. All right, moving on to the NFL. Rob Gronkowski has been the focal point of Tom Brady's passing attack this season. But according to the tight end on the other team, Zach Ertz, Gronk doesn't need Brady to be successful. Ertz said Gronk would still be producing those numbers without Brady. So you see you in or out on Gronk being just as good without Brady as his quarterback. 
I don't, I don't, there's no, there's no player, a skilled guy that's been better without Tom Brady. I mean, look at all the guys at New England. They went somewhere else. Like, you're not going to be better without Tom Brady. And throwing the football is important. You are not going to be better without Tom Brady. So I think this year there's like 15, I don't know, Dusty, 15 guys who had over a thousand yards. Only two of those tight ends. Gronk and my boy Kelsey in Kansas City. But no, man, the reason why he's special, not only because he's big, it's because who he got thrown into the ball. I laughed. TV 12. I laughed when you said if throwing the football is important because I had a flashback to a way that sentence ended a different time you were on television and it tickles me. However, I am in that Gronk would be as good without Brady. In fact, I think he'd be better. Now, hear me out on this. Because of the skill positions the Patriots have, I think a lesser quarterback would just feed the ball to Gronk, would just rely on Gronk, wouldn't have the confidence and the ability to distribute the ball elsewhere. So the team would be worse, their overall numbers would be worse. But Didn't I think you create this theory that they're not throwing the ball a lot because he'll get hurt and they're trying well, to save him? Listen, just for the record, <laughs> I didn't create that theory. That is a well, that, you, you think it's insane? The idea that the Patriots preserve Rob Gronkowski throughout the regular season is not a crazy Nick Wright zigzag theory. That is something a lot of very smart people have said as well in addition to me. So go ahead. Let me get their names mm -hmm. after the show. I'll write them down. To you right now. <laughs> Let me get I'll write them down. But no, I think Gronk. I think a lesser quarterback would lean on Gronk more because he's such a mismatch. So I think Zach Ertz is correct. All right, your guy Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods shot even par yesterday, seven shots behind the leader. But according to Tiger, his main goal right now is the Masters. Nick, I'll start with you first. You went around on Tiger Woods winning a tournament this season. I'm in, but that's an emotional pick. It's just because I want to see it. I defer now to our okay. own Flaherty, our own golf expert, Chris Carter. Just, you in or out, what do you think? Uh, I'm totally in on Tiger winning the tournament this year, especially if he can stay healthy. Now, he decided last year to take the risk in this back fusion. Now, it's hard to play golf when your back is fused. He's changed his swing. He's put more of the pressure on his glutes and on his hamstrings to take the pressure off of his back. He's able to stay healthy. I believe he is able to get in the winner's circle. It was five years ago, the last time that he was healthy for a full year, and in that year, he won five times. Cece, tell me real quick, yesterday, what you saw. You were telling me something about the grass. You are telling me something about... Uh, yeah, well, you were worried about Tiger didn't make any putts over 10 feet. Mm -hmm. and the reason why, he's putting on Poana. Now, he grew up on Poana in California, but Poana is not prominent in the state of Florida, which he resides and plays most of the golf. So mm -hmm. he hadn't punted on the Poana surface in over a year. The ball's a little bumpier. It doesn't roll as smooth as bent grass, which we have in the south, especially in Florida. Okay. Thank you, CC. I was just thinking this to myself. tickles me so much. Bro. How is Tiger going to do on that Poana? That's and right. now I don't have to know because Poana. you told me. So Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, I'm the yeah. resident brother that teaches people about yeah. grass. That's why I say when my baby's crying. Poana. Oh. Po <laughs> Coming up to the Eagles deserve more credit than they're getting. Give me more credit. That's next on First Things First. Was she British? I don't know what that one was. Was that, was that, that like was a... This